Let's just start this recording and go. Oh man. Man oh man. Start all timers. <sighs> Part 11 of Dragon Quest 8. Last time I thought we were fighting the final boss and the game was like, nope, gotta find the Dragon Balls, so... We found... F four. We found four orbs of the seven, I think? Where are we? We are in... Oh shit, my controller's doing this thing again! Fairbury. There was an orb here, but I already picked it up. Um, so, the next orb should be in Baccarat. It is responding. Yeah, there's a faint echo. I assume it's gonna be in here. <sighs> I like. I wouldn't be surprised, FK, if this is gonna go on for another five streams. I would not be surprised. What is going on over there? And why is the, the game doing this? <laughs> oh, Only if I need to grind. I assume the orb is gonna be in here. I have a feeling it's not in here.
Oh, it is. So, we got the Baccarat Orb. Let's go check what's going on outside. Only one king squid. When what? How much HP does this thing have? Oh, the main character? No. Is the 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 thing doing anything? The hamster? Ah, oh, thank you. You saved us from disaster. From disaster? But what are we going to do? If Cash and Carrie hear about this, we'll have to make sure it never gets out. It's gone too far now. We'll have to shut it up. Yes, we'll have to buy them off with tokens. Please, we'll give you 200 tokens if you promise not to tell Cash and Carrie about any of this. Thank you. I'll have the tokens. Then it's a promise, not a word of this to anyone. Two hundred. All right. Uh, where to now? Oh yeah, Angelo's Chapel. Um, where was that? Soon to. Ruined Abbey. Oh, uh, that's fine. Let's just, um, do this. Unopened chest. Hmm. Probably not worth it. Wait. We're getting attacked. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. We're still getting attacked by bullshit. Because of the whole world going to shit. This guy 
is one of my contracts. Oh shit, I hope the bridge is still there. It might have just... What's going on here? It might have disintegrated. Marcello is uh, living the life, I think. Does the Sage's Stone use a turn? What's the Sage's Stone? Item that heals 100. It does use a turn, yeah. Items always use a turn, as far as I know. Okay, they they make the bridge. That's good. Or fix the bridge, rather. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I need one more, and that should be David. Uh, yeah. But what city was that? Zoom to. Do you ask FK? Come on, you can do it, PS2. They definitely use a turn.
Well, there's the lost orb. I think. Was it seven or eight orbs? Got that one. Fair breed. I think I have all seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Unless it was eight, but I think it was seven. Zoom to MP2. Where was the bird? Yeah, in Pichu, right? I should absolutely save first. die. Most likely die. I can't use Baumraun or whatever his name is here. To have found what I was looking for. I have located that which may be this world's last hope. Now I entrust it to you. The okay. scepter. The scepter of Trodane. Careful with that. It's full of hocus pocus. Don't touch it. There is no cause for alarm. The scepter no longer harbors Rapthorn's soul. Now it holds only the souls of the Seven Sages. Over the passage of its long history, the truth behind this scepter has been lost. In the beginning, it was crafted by the hands of the Seven Sages under my instruction. 
and they gave it a name. They called it the Godbird Scepter. You will need it if you are to break the dark shield around Rapthorn. Only when it is broken will he become vulnerable. Only then can you fight him. I will fly you to his location. The Lord of Darkness will engage you in mortal combat, but you must endure his attacks as you pray for the power of the scepter. When the four of you pray for its power in unison, one by one you will summon the souls of the sages to unlock the power of the orbs. Okay. I can give you no more advice. Do you understand what you must do when you face the Lord of Darkness? No. Then we cannot afford to delay this battle any longer. Are you ready? Thanks. Yeah, something like that. You must fight him now. Take the scepter. If it's that easy, you know. What if this is just a trivial fight? It's not going to be. <laughs> hey, Shrew. Uh, do we have the scepter? I don't know. I don't really understand what it wanted me to do. <laughs> you hope it's the last time. Level or magic barrier. Let's do magic barrier. Actually, um, I want to do accelerable. But they're not in my inventory, as far as I know. Let's see, items. Oh, the Godbird Scepter is in here. I wonder if someone else can use that. He can use it too. are not strong enough. Oh, it did... Uh-oh. 
Maybe we need to pray with everyone. I can equip it. What? But I need to pray. Maybe I need to equip it. Cannot be equipped. Use... Uh... I used the soul stone? Oh. Wait, what? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I, oh, oh no! Oh! God birds! It. The, sa the first fucking. Twelve characters are the same. Ah. Uh. Well, pray, 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 pray. This is dumb. <laughs> I mean, that was my bad, I guess, but still, come on. Now what? This... I need to do this like 17 times. Okay, defend, defend. No, actually. Scepter, pray, 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 pray. It doesn't have unique music, no. Well, it kind of does. All the Raptor and fights have this me have this specific music. I'll do Magus slash Raptorn, but it's only for these fights. Do I really need to do this seven fucking times? That's two. Let's keep track. <laughs> um... Don't do it on Angelo. Okay. 
Pray. 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 Yeah, exactly, shrimp. It's so dumb. Number three. Annoyingly, we went first. Waste. That just wa Why does it not just say you can't flee? Try. I I swear I pressed fight and went down, but it lagged again. I swear I pressed X before pressing down and press like. Pray. 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 They could have made the sages do something, right? That's number four? They should have made this a chance to work, right? Instead of uh, a guaranteed. Ah. <laughs> uh. Defend, defend. I should, next time, I should give that scepter that heals 100, or that staff that heals 100 to one of them. Um, actually, does Angelo have it? No. Actually, Jessica might have it. I don't know where I put it then. Spells, multi heal. Yikes. That hit Angelo three times. Ah, uh, Angelo doesn't have enough HP now. Okay. 
We're ready to pray. Don't flee. Pray. 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 Just, like... Why? Don't... Just have a, an option to pray. Like, instead of having to do this, just have a fucking option to pray. No, don't make the fucking player press literally 25 buttons to pray. Ugh. Ridiculous. I'm totally fine with Kaboom. This one's the scary one. Okay. As long as it doesn't hit the same person twice. That was number five. I could risk another one. Fuck it, live on the edge. Pray. 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 Don't don't do it. Motherfucker! That's the first time it hit the ah. Uh. That's the first time it hit the same person twice. Did Bangera already play pray? I don't think he did. Angelo. Okay. Number six.
Okay, good. Alright, let's get number seven out. shrimp. Alright, here's number seven. It might just skip this phase if we die, though. My beloved kin, we sages have done all that we can. Now our dear world, our future, lies in your hands. Yeah. Protect it well. If you die on a phase, if you kill a phase and die, it goes to the next phase. Yeah. We will be watching you. Farewell, my beloved kid. Farewell, Imperia. Oh, nice. Actual heal, yeah, yeah. This probably, yeah, this means like this phase is done, I think. Shield was holding him back, you know. You shall taste the terror eternal. Even death shall offer you no respite. What do we do? I assume... Oh, the, the, the thing is gone. Alright. Um... Let's start psyching up. Pray again. <laughs> See how often he does. Oh, cold breath. Okay. I need to use insulatal. Uh, well.
How can I lose? My hero has 420 HP. Okay, yeah. He disrupts. Whatever. Um... Let's just... Oh yeah, I don't have... I don't have mid key. Um... Heal all, whatever the fuck. I have Omni Heal, but that's too much shit for now. Um... Too much MP. So... Let's just... Sharpie. You do Helm Splitter. You do Boom. No, you need to Insulatle again. And you do Multi Heal. This might be the final boss, Sharpie. Again. Again. Nice. That's good defense decrease. Okay, so Kabuff doesn't actually do anything against the Smash. That's fine. Okay, let's just um, attack. Abilities, Helm Splitter, Spells, Oof, Jessica, and you do multi -hit. Psyching up is useless because of the disruptive wave, again. That's fine. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Come on, Jessica. Yeah, let's go. Uh. Okay. What the fuck? Excuse me. What? What? <laughs> what the fuck? How is that fair? How is that fair? <sighs> he didn't know, he meditated to heal 330 HP. Oh, and he can recover his MP as well. That's fine. Oh shit. Uh, it has a cooldown? Maybe. Maybe. Um, attack. Helm splitter. Move Jessica. And. What do I do here? What am I holding? The bow? I should be holding the staff. Um... Well, let's Seraph's arrow anyway. I need to remember to change to staff when I'm healing with Angelo. Am 
I still insulated? I guess I'm not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spells, Omni Heal. No, not attack. Helm Splitter. Um, abilities, Twin Lash. And then. I did Omni Heal. Um. I do with Angelo. Just attack, I guess. Slap, slap. Come on, Omni heal before he attacks. Come on, bang. No, I'm dead. At least the two people that know Zing. Um. It's fine. Try to run. Yeah, it. My two healers lived, so it wasn't too bad. Um. You attack now. Helm splitter. And. Multi heal. Ah, I forgot to. Uh, I forgot to equip the staff again. Did he just recover 500? Items equipped. What the fuck is that? Yep. It hits your entire party for 250. Attack, helm splitter. 
here. Um, Twin Dragon Lash, and you can move Jessica and hope you go first. Ah, you fucker. Sleep goes goes away once you get hit, so it's only one turn. Omni heal. to heal as well. Jank is still sleeping. XP, you know what that means. He didn't have a lot of HP. I didn't get experience, so there's no way this is over. Right? We done it, Gun! We only went and bleed and done it! At last! I can finally go back and tell Bangers and Mash it's all over. And I have something to tell Alistair, too. That he was right all along. I only made it this far because I followed my heart. Hmm. Who'd have thought we'd ever manage it? Hmm, should be an interesting anecdote for the ladies. I bet Grandad and the Orcs Princess would be having a whale of a time by now. They must be back to normal at last. I'm half surprised the old codger ain't turned up to surprise us as usual. 
But even he couldn't spring up in a place like this, eh? <laughs> I transported your friends back to is their home. Is it really home. over? Each one of you is a great hero. Yangus, Jessica, Angelo, and of course, you. I will never forget your strength and courage. You remind me of the Seven Sages. You humans never fail to surprise me. It is time to land. Your friends are eager to see you again. In reading this. Yep. I'm still not convinced it's over. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see end credits. again. <gasps> there you are. Welcome He's not changed back. back. I saw you all in action. My wonderful men. You were magnificent. I ain't one of your men, Grandad. Neither am I. And I'm a free agent. Hmm? <laughs> of course, of course. And I suppose you weren't magnificent either. Wise bird! A uh, god! I, uh, are you leaving us already? This world is in no danger now. My path leads to other worlds. I see. Well, anyway, we are in your de- Wait a minute! Aren't you forgetting something? What about the princess and I? Hmm? Just how long are we going to have to suffer this outrageous curse? Well, the power of Ratthorn's curse is weakening. It will not be long now. Really? Splendid! I feel much better for hearing that. Well, I don't know where your next destination is, but take care. Is it uh, proper to tell a god uh, to take care? I am not a god, nor is my real name Imperia. These are but the names you humans have given to me. I was known by a different name in the land of my birth. There I was called Ramia. But now I must leave. Goodbye, brave humans. It has been an honor to have known you. Taken you this long to notice? A personality as rich as mine always sparkles. Nah, I mean literally. Take a look at yourself! Mm hmm? Ooh. Hurrah! 
I'm back! Finally rid of that hideously ugly guys! Ha! You don't look no different! You look exactly the same as before! <laughs> what did you say? Are you blind? Dazzled by my striking appearance, no doubt! Wait! This is no time for an argument! Where's the princess? Where is my beautiful Medea? She's just horsing Hello, around. Everyone. Medea! You're back! Oh, my beloved Medea! Are you guys ready for another hour of ending? At last. <clears throat> at last the curse is lifted. Oh. Everything is back as it should be. Father. Hey, look. Spring. Back to its old self too. <laughs> Trodane is restored. The glory returns. Everyone, this calls for a banquet. Prepare a feast! Intro music. Come on, roll those credits! <laughs> Already drunk. Oh, jeez, yes. Please insert disc. <laughs> okay, Sharpie. There is no disc too. Oh, it's shrimp. You guys have the same color and the same SH, okay? Oh, look at her juggle those balls. Look at that kid looking at those balls. The color is actually different. Nah, not on my screen. Oh. Uh -huh -huh. Is this it? Now loading. You're a gamer. <laughs> oh, thanks for that load. Several months later. Time now, see, eh? 
I ain't seen your mug since we polished off that fat geezer. I've been playing it straight, Guff. None of that dodgy business I was up to before I met you. Yeah, I've been doing a bit of trading, you know, bits and bobs like. Been sailing around and selling stuff in all the places we went to together. This bird, a uh, mate of mine's been bugging me for ages to help her with it. So here I am. You're looking at Yengus, the important exporter now. Anyway, I heard your big news. So you're head of the palace guards then, eh? Diamond. Diamond. I'm well chuffed I can help you out on your first big job and all. And it's for none other than our darling horse print. Oh, listen to me. She ain't an horse anymore, is she? So we're escorting the princess to a wedding at Savella Cathedral, right? Oh, I don't know, though. Beats me why she's still marrying that charmless bloke. After all this happened. Oh, yeah. Nearly forgot. I was supposed to give you a message from this old minister. I... Seems the princess is ready to deport now. So you can go and fetch her from a room like. I'll be waiting down in the courtyard then, eh? See you in a bit. It's not over. It's not over. Oh, it's not over. There's an epilogue. I was just hoping you were kidding, all right? They get it, they get it again. Ah, it's been a while. I came as soon as I heard the news. So, it seems we'll have the honor of escorting the lovely princess. I just ran into Yangus, too. Same as ever. I'm a busy man, as you know. So I wasn't too thrilled at first at having to drop everything and come over. But it is good to see the old gang again. Anyway, are you really all right with this wedding going ahead? You don't have to stick around if it's too hard for you. Just do what you have to do, my friend. Like I did when I left the Abbey. Oh, <laughs> Angelo's so wonderful. You know, he looks after children who don't have anywhere else to go. Don't you? He says he wants to repay all the kindness Abbot Francisco showed him when he was all alone in the world. <laughs> Isn't he just the sweetest man you ever met? <laughs> Hey, no need to tell the whole world. I have a certain image to maintain with my admirers. Well then, see you in a bit. I'll be down in the courtyard taking a break. Come and Just find me. Just adding more people to his harem. to fetch the princess somewhere. Wait, what? This prin the princess is what? Where is the princess's room? Oh, I can open this now as well. Yay, a mini medal. Yay. Rusty old sword. Oh, I could make the best sword with that or some shit. Good uh, room there. Good balcony. I have no idea where the horse's room is.
I assume all the way at the top, but... I mean, there's one of her pictures. Second floor. Um, maybe in the big room to the right. Who has a picture of themselves? Uh, most people? Nope. Maybe not displayed, but... Is this the room I need? I know, but where the fuck is she? Pretty well, that's for sure. But how come you haven't visited me in Alexandria? I've missed you. You know, I was planning to go off and live on my own, but my mother was so worried I ended up settling down back at home. I guess the time I spent away from her made us both realize what's truly important to us. We get on really well now. I'm not much of a replacement for my brother, but I've decided to stay and look after Alexandria. With everyone's help, of course. But enough of that. Have you heard? Apparently, Yangus and Red have teamed up now, and they're doing something together. Can you believe it? Last I remember, they couldn't exchange two words without three insults. I wonder what went on between them. Huh? You're on your way to pick up Princess Medea? Yeah, I guess it's time to get going. Yeah. Okay, then. I'll be waiting for you down in the courtyard. All right, Jessica. That door was locked so that I wouldn't be able to skip the Jessica thing, I guess. There she is. I suppose this is the last time I'll play the piano like this in here. I wonder if there'll be a piano I can play in Argonia. You're a fucking princess! Of course you can! Thank you for coming. Is it already time to leave? I asked the minister to have you call on me, so that we could take one last walk through the castle, alone together. Just like old times. Oh, are you back? I know it's not quite time yet, but I wanted to say goodbye to you properly. To thank you for everything you've done. 
The times I've spent here in Tredane Castle, with you, will be memories I shall treasure for always. I have to marry the Prince of Argonia to fulfill my royal duty. And you have to please continue to serve my father and protect Tredane, just as you always have. <sighs> so then, shall we go? I need another one, Shrimp. To keep people waiting I need another one. Give me another one. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh god. What a video game. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a stab at my playing or <laughs> just Dragon Quest in general. Oh. Veggie sausages and mozzarella sticks. Sounds good enough. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded either way, Therio, but oh my god. I think if I was any lower in level, that fight would have been a big fucking pain. Hey Dolaroth. We're, we're doing ending scenes, many of them. We beat the final boss. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if the game was like, Fuck it, let's do another boss. Right right now. Let's end this fucking wedding and do another boss right fucking now. Well, so this is Savella Cathedral. What a perfect place for a grand royal wedding. Excellent work, young man. You did an admirable job of escorting us. Your duty here has now been fulfilled. You shall stay the night at the inn, and return to Tredane tomorrow. Tomorrow? I thought they'd all be attending the wedding. I'm sorry, princess. What? But I'm afraid that won't be possible. No, I'm not playing race with Ryan after this. Well, well, pleased to make your acquaintance indeed. I am Prince Charmley of Argonia. Goodness! Ooh -hoo. You must be Princess Medea! Ooh, charmed, I'm sure. One look at you is enough to make me forget all the other beautiful girls I've ever met. I'm the luckiest man in the world to have you as my wife. Blimey! What's with all the romance? I didn't know you had it in your Charmless. It's Charmley! Oh, aren't you those... It's Bouquet! ...from the initiation? Hm. No doubt you're here because you heard the news of my wedding. Well, I'm afraid this is as far as you can come. I can't possibly have commoners like you at such a grand royal affair. It's not as if you're aristocracy, or wealthy, or well... Well, anything. you know, <laughs> I kind of <laughs> bought out the casino with my winnings. <laughs> that brat is unbelievable. Can't let us in on account of our being too common indeed. The preening little snob. 
It's been a while since the initiation, but he is still just as obnoxious as ever. And yet tomorrow, he's going to be marrying the princess. Can you believe it? Are you really going to let this happen? If you ask me, it's your duty as chief of the palace guard to protect the princess's happiness. Charmley. We haven't fought a single Rise and shine dragon, now. real the dragon yet. In a bit. <laughs> Not a single one. We've come all this way. We the water dragon doesn't doesn't get, uh, doesn't um it doesn't word matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't count. That's that's I'll go the word. on ahead then, eh? I'll be waiting in front of that big church. QTE to stop the wedding. Alright, uh, how do I get out of here? Where the fuck are we? Just steal your shit right in front of your nose. Yeah. Oh, that chest is. He's in the way, dude. I bet you can come here at night and grab that chest. We thought you weren't coming. The ceremony's already started. The mini medals hold a secret, though. It's bedlam up there with all those people. I doubt anyone would notice you among the crowd. In case um, we don't see you again. Goodbye, Jessica. Oof, laggy. Why did I didn't I say goodbye to Angelo? Oops. Uh, bye, Angelo. People are saying that the bride looks stunning. I wish I was more like her. I wish I had hair like this guy. Holy shit. I'm more interested in seeing the new Lord High Priest than the bride and groom. But it's impossible to see anything from here. <laughs> Congratulations, Princess Medea! Congratulations, Prince Charmos! Hey, stop pushing! Wow! There you are, Gav. I knew you'd turn up. Right, this way. Follow me. <clears throat> well, we've got this far. Now, we just have to take care of that knight.
I love how <laughs> Jengis and this girl are... Oh, and this guy is interactable. And all the rest is just background. <laughs> they have a different outline. <laughs> yes. To me, Gav. Go on, in you go. <laughs> Punch in the fucking dick. Honestly, where has the princess got to? What could possibly be taking her so long? Wedding? I won't stand for it. Guards, get rid of him at once. What dude is alive? Yeah, he was locked up in the dungeon. Oh yeah, well, yeah, it's fine. He was locked up. He didn't fall down. He must have just dodged the thing falling down, right? Is this true? Ah. What is it, Father? Tell me at once. It seems the bride, Princess Medea, has disappeared. What did you say? I what you don't say? believe it. Well, she must have been kidnapped. It's the only explanation. Aha! Of course! It was you! This is all you're doing! He was jealous, so he kidnapped the princess! Princess! Seize him at once! Oh, hey, Jessica. Yeah, you're okay. Hey, what's going on, Gap? Where's the princess? Hey, get over here. We've got trouble. King Crowd and Princess Medea are surrounded by soldiers down there. You what? I don't get it. But we better get a move on, Gap. It don't look good. Stay right where you are. Do you think we'll just let you go after you ruin the royal wedding like that? Leave them to us. You just get the princess and King Crow to safety. It's the guy that Jengis punched, I bet. and escape from here at once! I can't possibly let that awful Prince Charmless marry my beautiful Medea! My country's honor matters not one jot compared to her happiness! Please, take her to safety! My marriage was arranged by our two families long ago. I thought I had no choice but to accept it gracefully. I always resigned myself to it. I always saw it as my duty as princess. I simply can't abide him. If it's a choice between marrying that twit and being a horse, you can make mine a grass sandwich. 
What? I can't live my whole life denying my true feelings. <laughs> my true inner horse. Take my hand and let's run away together. Please, take me away from here. Oh, you can say no? I, or I didn't know that was coming up. This game is really bad in um, buffering your input on those yes-no questions. Like, you want to skip it, but you've already pressed the X button, so it immediately says yes on the first frame. Just not a shitty way of the way the menus work. Ugh. You incompetent rogues! How could you be so remiss as to let a wagged wobble like them rout you, you rotten waskles? You rotten waskles? I should have known better than to entrust my princess's retrieval to a troop of reluctant waffnecks! They really pressed those R's in those few lines of dialogue. Then why don't you go after them and bring the princess back yourself? But, uh, I can't do that all on my own. I'll send the royal guard. The royal guard. Typical. You think that just because you're a prince, you're a you can prince. solve everything with money and power. But, but I got that huge organ heart during the initiation all by myself. Enough of your lies. I know the truth. Core blimey. <laughs> this game never ends. For fuck's sake. Final boss wait. Got it out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my god. Out of fucking nowhere the credits. <laughs> Power Fucking hours! 60 hours of Metal Slime. I think we only did like... 
maybe four hours of level grinding. Maybe four hours. And we did like five or six hours of casino grinding. We <laughs> play it. Uh, with different weapons, right? So maybe... We can't have done more than 10 hours of grinding in this. All, like, half of it was just cutscenes and bullshit. 3DS. <laughs> oh, God. I have 9 on DS. Is Joker's 2 a DS or a 3DS game? I don't remember. I think it's a DS game. Square Enix experience in general. But like... There weren't even good cutscenes, there were just all shitty dialogue. Final Fantasy cutscenes are usually nicely done. This was just... bullshit. <laughs> oh. This or FF8? Absolutely this. Fuck Final Fantasy VIII. FFF8. Final Fantasy VIII was... shit. Fucking garbage. <laughs> Don't at you. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of my best friends think Final Fantasy VIII is the best Final Fantasy. Like, at least four of them. <laughs> and I don't know what is wrong with them. <laughs> Flicky, um, Tear, Oasis, Shrimp. They all think Final Fantasy VIII is the best one. <laughs> They're not, though. <laughs> they genuinely believe it. They're delusional. Tactics. They have not played a tactics game. I'm completely not paying attention to these credits, I just don't care anymore. Italian translators? Okay. Can I skip this? Of course you can't skip this. Why would you be able to skip this? I watched Thor The Dark World, which was actually good. And I watched Iron Man 3, which is... weird. I like Dark World. It actually had a story attached to it and wasn't just bullshit. Boring, dull, and bad. Well, we disagree on that one then. It had more action than Iron Man 3. Maybe it was just be maybe it was because I watched it after Iron Man 3. <laughs> oh, that movie was shit. Especially because Iron Man 1 and 2 are some of the better ones, and 3 is just bad. Fuck. <laughs> You'll have enough points for another vote. Iron Man 2 is shit. It's better than 3. Oh, here we go. More cutscenes. Shall I make the timer go further? It's been a long journey. A lot has happened along the way, but it's all worked out well in the end. I don't. It keeps going, Two Cat. Obligations matter not one jot. What matters is being able to live a full and happy life. You should decide for yourself <laughs> who you wish to marry. I won't rush you. Take as long as you need. Although, I don't want to. What? I don't know how easy it will be to find someone now that you've jilted a prince. I don't want to marry her. Never mind that now, Father. Look, we're home. Home for 
good. <laughs> I didn't want to say yes. I pressed X to skip. I was too eager. The end. Is it gonna have a question mark? <sighs> you succeeded in defeating the Lord of Darkness. If you save here, your victory will be recorded in an adventure log. Sure. There we go. It is truly finished. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> A greater evil awaits. It's fine. There's there's a post game dungeon that I'm not gonna do. Pal version. <laughs> Is it just gonna sit on this screen? <laughs> Forty five minutes. <laughs> I need to set up the CDI as well, so it's gonna be like another 15 minutes. And we need to vote for this game and the next game and give it a score. I think it's stuck on this screen. So let's let's just yeah, let's just power it off before it, it goes into another cutscene. Alright. <sighs> Oh man. All right. You forgot the vote was a thing. It's been it's been years. <laughs> it's been years. I I doubt it, I'll still remember how to do it. <sighs> All right. Let me put the microphone a bit closer to my face. Game 296. Um, today is the 10th of uh, May, 2021. We've been playing this since the 20th of April. That's 20 days of Dragon Quest. 20 fucking days of Dragon Quest. Well, I didn't stream every day, but 20 days of Dragon Quest. At least we're still 2021. So, this game took 62 hours, 10 minutes, and 52 seconds. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> My dock can't go over 24 hours, apparently. Uh, how do I... What? How do I do that? How do I do this? 62? It just doesn't want to go there. Data. Uh, here. No, no, no. 
how do I change this number? It is uh time. There we go. <sighs> yeah, duration. Let's set this entire column to dur duration. Uh, shit, where did I do that? Wait, is it gone? What, what did I do? Why? So, my Google Docs is in Dutch because I pee shit and... So bad. There. Value duration. Good. <sighs> because my P shit, yep. To <laughs> the Nickelodeon TV thing. Yeah. All right, what do we score this? What do we score Dragon Quest Eight? The good old seven out of ten. Like I'm doubting between a six and a seven because it is just it's so long. It's too long, dude. It's just too long. For you, five out of ten. Slam a 4 on that? No. I think I'm gonna give it a 6. It's a nice game, it's just too long. Every decision they made was too long. <sighs> Why is this green? What is wrong with this... with this thing? Why is this green? Why is this not yellow? Why why is this not yellow? Okay. Is is the 62 hours on the document yellow for you guys or is it green because it's green for me and I can't change it. Oh, oof. well that's not correct. It's green. Okay, let's delete it. Okay. It's gone now. 62, 10, 52. <laughs> what? Hello? Let's put something else in there. 23 hours is also... What? Why is it green? Whatever, man. 62 hours, 10 minutes. I'll figure it out later. Anything I put in there is green now. Feds. Oh, um. <laughs> Conditional format must be on. Conditional format. Cell is not empty. You were right. Conditional format was on. What? Thank you, Sharpie. Um, all right. Let's let's get back to brain. Brain is not functioning. Scotland Yard is the next game on CDI. But before we can play that, we need to draw for the next game. <laughs> Excel Wizards. Time to roll. <sighs> All right. <laughs> you live inside of it. Oh, dude. No, no. No RPGs, please. 
We already have another RPG coming up soon, so... <sighs> there. 1,104 games in the list. Let's just do it. In the meanwhile, the bang log is 296. <sighs> and what else can we do while that's running? Dragon Quest. What's it gonna be? It scrolled past Trauma Center. Russian version of Mortal Kombat? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. That's incredible. All right. We get three <laughs> we get three choices. Oh my god. We have <clears throat> Outlander vs. Ness. All right, let's grab some. Let's grab some box art. Oh man, I just. So yeah, the the program I'm using is obviously Russian. If you haven't like, <laughs> if you haven't noticed it yet, and uh, it has some built-in audio clips for specific, like, words in, um, <laughs> in the pics. And I guess Mortal Kombat has a Russian Mortal Kombat song. That's, uh, <laughs> interesting. Outlander for SNES. If I remember correctly, this game is a complete piece of trash. Ah. <sighs> Where do I save this to? Box art Outlander SNES. Apparently, this has a Genesis version as well. Um, game number two is Mortal Kombat for Game Boy. I should have Mortal Kombat game. I should have the box art for that. All right. And game number three is X X's, which is probably on the Capcom Generations again. Jesus. Um, let's see. X X's yet yeah, Capcom Generations. It's a shmup. Did it keeps picking the Capcom Generations disc? It 
It's like the fourth time it showed up. Okay. <laughs> well, you've already missed one Trauma Center game, so... Um... Dashboard. None of these have gotten votes before, I think. Um, I should check, right? X. Nope. We've got Mortal. Mortal Combat. Nope. And Outlander. Nope. Okay. Make poll. New poll for game 300. And two, I guess. Something like that. Doesn't really matter. Number one, we have Outlander Super Nintendo. We've got Mortal Kombat Game Boy. Both of these are very bad, by the way. Both Outlander and Mortal Kombat are very, very bad games. And then we've got X's on PS1. All right, looks like the st the settings are still good. Let's start the poll. Um, and we've got some rave rush. You've got three minutes to vote. You can vote in the top right corner of your screen above the chat window. And once you vote it, you can rig the vote by using channel points or bits. Have fun. I'm going to go get my CDI. What one? Mortal Kombat? Um, Mortal Kombat one. Okay. And two votes for the other two. 
Outlander, two votes. What a terrible poll, man. <laughs> what a choice of three games. X X's, two votes. And Mortal Kombat, not for Master System, for Game Boy. That's added, and then this extra Mortal Kombat for Game Boy out of this list. Save. All right, you only voted for X X's because you've never seen a shmup that isn't Tailspin Ness. Wow. You missed uh, 1943 then, which was garbage. <laughs> 1943 was bad. Not a fun shmup. All right. Um, what do I need here? I need composite cables somewhere. Good old composite cables, right? The CDI actually has a, a very nice composite output compared to most consoles. wires oh. why is that stuck okay so no RGB type A and this should power up That's my TV. TV is on. Now we need uh, config uh, settings composite. Thud. Okay. We're not getting anything. No, HDMI is what we need actually. There we go. And we're getting 480p, which is not correct. Um, so let's turn this off and back on. Okay, so five six seventy six p, which is pal AV. Oh my fucking god! Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
let's mute that until we're good. Um, okay. I don't, I should probably should crop that in game because I don't know if it's going to be the same. I can do this. And then I can do some magic here. There we go. Philips owes me new speakers. Uh, we're dropping frames as well. Interesting. Dude, blame Philips. Um, right. We need Scotland Yard. We're uh, Dre Dnell Docks. Let me put up the big camera. Scotland Yard by Ravensburger Phillips. Produced by AVM HDHD GmbH Media Deutschland. Made in Germany. Interesting. Just seeing if it works. Yeah, okay. Before we do anything, we need to do some other crap. Um, CDI is always a hassle. So, we can close this, um, game info, Scotland Yard. <laughs> it's triggering you. So yeah, this is uh, Skull and Yard for CDI. Uh, apparently a board game. I have never played it. I don't know what it's what it is about. Um, nice colors on the thing though. What do we have? This is the back side. Oh, it's in German. Uh, let me let me grab my copy. I have the English version. Um, okay, how how can we? Let's get rid of this. Let's see, camera. Top London gangster evades Scotland Yard's clutches. Mister X, London's most wanted baddie, is still on the loose. Was that him fitting up Farringdon, uh, or zipping into the zoo? Or bounding up Bond Street, Scotland Yard detectives are at their wits end and are desperate for your help. This is your big chance. Can you track down Mr. X? If you haven't, nail... If you have... If you haven't... Haven't... Okay. Come on, camera. If you haven't nailed him by the time your quota of taxi, tube, and bus tickets runs out, he's free to continue his evil career of crime. Scotland Yard is the fascinating CDI version of the classic board game. You cover London in the chase, learning about one of the world's greatest cities through photographs and animated graphics. You can zero in on your chosen district, pursuing Mr. X from Maida Vale to the Oval from Kensington's Gardens to Clerkenwell Green. You can play with friends with or without Roby, the game computer, or play on your own with Roby as your opponent. So, get on the case now. The meter's running and the heat is on for one to six players, ten years and above. And we've got uh, some dudes here. And uh, the classic CDI animation right there on the underground. <sighs> you remember me getting the game? Really? <laughs> 
amazing. It's going to be five minutes long, probably. And, uh, I mean, I don't really have anything else here. I've got the CD, which you've already seen. I do have the manual. Um, I mean, how do you win? If a detective manages to meet up with the invisible Mr. X at one of the points on the board, Mr. X is forced to reveal himself and the detectives are the winners. But if Mr. X manages to remain undiscovered until all the detectives have used up all of their tickets or their moves, Mr. X is saved and has won the game. The game is limited to 25 rounds. Functions of the control unit. Oh my fucking god, I hope I don't have to use this thing. I have this controller. I really hope I don't have to use that controller. <laughs> First aid instructions for play. After the introduction on the disc, the screen pauses, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, you, it's explained to me in game. We'll have to do that then. Um, let's skip this then. Selection of players, game plan, means of transport. Let's, let's just have the game explain it to us. All right. There's nothing really interesting in this. It's just straight black and white text the sights of london this might be interesting to have on hand i guess i don't know we'll see control unit looks kino uh, i have one of those but it doesn't work let me get it CDI accessories. This is the remote you get with your CDI. It's wired with like 10 meters of wire. And this is what you get. You get you get button one, you get button two, and you get this thing that is supposed to be a uh, four direction or maybe eight direction pad. Um, there's also a third button, which is one plus two, but this controller does not have one plus two control button functionality, I guess. Then there is this. I have the special wireless remote for CDI, which has button one, two, and one plus two, but it has a, a rubberized directional pad which has no specific, it's, it's pressure sensitive. It, it doesn't have clicky buttons. Like th this, is, this is your typical disc that clicks, kind of. Like it's mushy as all fuck, but this just has a rubber pad that somehow knows where your finger is. All right. The problem is, this doesn't work with the CDI out of the box. You need this thing. So this plugs into the control thing and then somehow magically transfers IR to that controller. And um, this is also the only way to have a second player. Like it daisy chains into this, you can have either a second controller in here which you can either make like the same input or input one and two so you can have it that the the, the wired controller does the same thing or that it access player two um and then you have this monstrosity that which was in the manual you've got button one button one button two and button two, and then you've got pause, stop, play, all your CD functions, I guess. 
And then you've got this thing. The fun thing about this is it turns. So every time you want to like go a direction, it just it just it 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 just turns away from your finger. It's impossible to hold. It's it's just it's impossible to hold. Luckily, this doesn't work anymore, so I don't have to bother with it. Also, wireless, so you need this thing again. <laughs> it's uh it's a mess. None of those controllers are useful in any way whatsoever. And then I bought this one and it was broken, so I had to completely rewire it. That was fun. Anyway. Anyway. Um, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Get this off the screen before Shrim gets another aneurysm or whatever it's called. Scotland Yard. Let's change my title. Scotland Yard. Oh. CDI. Game 297. Update. <clears throat> okay. The CDI only has one controller port. Of course it does. Why would you ever need a second controller? That's nonsense. Okay. Now, the first thing we need to do is... Hope this doesn't crackle again. Um, all right, turn on the thing with the, the tray open. This is the ritual I have to go through every time because the internal battery is dead and basically unreplaceable. I need to go to options. Uh, general. Oh god. The, the, the mouse has acceleration to it, so it's actually super hard to uh, get it on the spot you want. And we need volume to not be on max because it peaks the fuck out of the system. We need it on medium. All right. And now I can close the disc. But before we do that, let's stop the recording of Dragon Quest because apparently I forgot.